Hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253, and I know my hair looks a little different than the last time you guys have seen me. Yes, uh, the rainbow hair is no longer here, you guys. Rainbow Herlanda is gone, gone, gone until next summer. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rocking my kitty cat shirt on. I'm rocking my cornrows courtesy of mama, my mommy. And I got my edges all laid and slicked and all that good stuff. And I just got the little cornrows going back for a month or so. And then I will be getting my other hair back in again. Just giving my hair a nice little break. It's actually kind of nice not to have all that weight on my head. But anyway, let's just cut the brass knuckles. Cut, what, how do they say that? Let's just get to the brass knuckles. I don't know. I think that's how they say that. But who we gonna have hanging out with us today is little Miss Orly, Laylin Ayana, my sweet little girly that uh, was reborn by Dolly Day's Nursery. And her sculpt is, um, I know Denise Pratt is the sculptor. Uh, I forgot her sculpt at the moment. Oh, you know what? That's where this comes in handy. Ella by Denise Pratt. So you guys got to get yourself a play log, man. Have all your baby's birthdays, their sculpts, their names. Especially when you have a lot of babies like me, you get forgetful. You forget stuff, man. But yeah, so that's why I have that for my reminder. So if you guys saw my last video, I did um, a Nico's Pajama of the night video at like 9 a.m. in the morning. It is hump day Wednesday. Hopefully it'll stay nice and sunny and I'll go meet my hubby for our hump day hike today. Um, summer's winding on up. I got about a month and a half. I mean a month. <laughs> a week and a half. Oh my goodness. A week and a half left and then I will be going back to work. I went to work on Monday of this week to uh, set my classroom up. I did that and everything and now just waiting to go back to work for real for real uh, and all that good stuff so you guys i am here for a little dolly intervention for some of you guys y'all i can't go a couple days without without scrolling on my instagram and seeing somebody having their beautiful baby up for sale reasons i need money for this so I've come into some financial problems, something came up, you know, something to that effect, you know, doggy need to go to the vet, uh, you know, somebody drove the car through the, through the garage, you know, this is always a story. Now, whether it be true or not, because I know some people just kind of put those little cushion stories on just to... Uh, kind of aid people into going ahead and purchasing. But I feel like if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. If I'm not, I'm not. So uh, you saying whatever your story is, if I have the money for it and it's something I want, I'm going to get it. And if I don't have it, I'm not going to. So the story doesn't matter. Like if it's a heartbreaking story, if it is a true story, you know, I'll be like, you know, oh, my heart goes out to and whatnot. But if it's something frivolous. I'm like, oh, man, I don't know what to tell you. I hope somebody buys it. But anyway, but I think that gives, they do that. A lot of people do that to have that extra push. It may not really be anything going on. They just don't particularly like something about the doll, and they're just trying to seal it. Um, but I'm just trying to say, if every time something come up, you slinging dolls left and right, it's time to reflect look within yourself tell yourself say self and then yourself say hmm, um why is it that i'm always spending all my money and every time i need something i gotta be trying to sell something to get something you guys i would just thank my mom every day if i could for her instilling in me the responsibility and 
as far as being an adult, like I said, I wasn't even an adult yet when she told me. When I got my first job, my mom always told me, she said, I don't care if you don't save no more than $5 per paycheck, long as you save something for a rainy day. Because, guys, things come up, especially in adulthood, especially if you are a homeowner or just being an adult, period, with kids. There's always going to be something coming up. So, um, I shouldn't have to be on here telling y'all to stop spending all y'all doggone money and save some of your money for that rainy day because, boo, it's going to come. It's going to come, okay? Now, things come up. Things have happened to me. Car stuff. You see me slinging my dogs left and right? No. Because my husband and I have accounted for those type of life situations. That's why you have a savings account, people. Hello. Don't spend all of your money. My goodness. <laughs> I know somebody out there needs to hear this. And I am delivering it to you today. And anybody out there that don't want to hear it and don't want to be put on the, um, <laughs> the intervention list, you can click off now. But um, some of y'all might need a little, little push, a little extra motivation. I'm just saying. And after I finish getting my little chats out, I'm going to pull out my little binder. And remember I told you guys I was going to give y'all... Y'all hear that? That's my neighbor gate. I told y'all I was going to give y'all budgeting 101. And we're going to start that today because some of y'all need to hear this. Just because Susie Q or... Darlene, whoever over there getting these expensive five, six, ten thousand dollar silicones, boo, and you looking at your account, and you like, mm, all I got is six thousand in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that silicone. We're not gonna eat for the next month, but I'm gonna go on and get it anyway. Does that make sense to y'all? That does not make sense. If you don't have silicone money, sit down, go over there to Ashton Drake. Go get you one of their little silicone for $200. Enjoy your little baby. Dress it up. Have just as cute as can be. Buy some cute little burrettes to put in the baby. Have a cute little outfit. And sit yourself down until you get to the point where you can afford that. Okay? <laughs> Boy, y'all, I'm always scrolling up looking like... Oh, I need to sell this baby and no time wasters. Um, something has come up and uh, I need the money as soon as possible. I'm like, I couldn't live like that. I could not live with that type of stress over me not knowing. You don't know what's going to happen from day to day. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know. You don't spend your last. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know somebody need to hear this. Don't spend everything you got, y'all. Save some of it just because she got it. Guess what? You might you might not be making the money she making. She may be retired and invested. Her and her husband could have staken all fields of all all gold, silver. You don't know what other people' business is. You can't be going out there chasing everything everybody else have. Okay. So me and Oral is gonna tell y'all some budgeting one-on-one -on -one. so if you want to hear it like here here it goes stay tuned welcome back if you're here with me you are interested in a little budgeting one-on-one -on -one. some tips and hints to get you on the right track all right guys <laughs> all right i'm being silly y'all <laughs> okay so i had wrote this up a long time ago and I'm going to share it with you guys because I see that there is a need, y'all. There's a need. There's a need for some of y'all. Budgeting 101, video number one. That's this one. If you want to do it right, number one, first thing you need to do, calculate how much money you have coming in per month. If you're the only breadwinner, that's just your check. After taxes now, baby. After taxes, you're okay. You don't get that. All right. You got the, what's it in the net? Is it the net? Gross. Not the gross, but the net 
or not the net but the gross. Y'all know what I'm talking about. People out there getting chicks. Let me read that again. Calculate how much money you have coming in per month. All right, write it down. Boom. Okay. You got it. You got your number. Okay. You could pause this video, get your number. If it's you and your hubby, if it's you, your hubby and your daughter, whoever bringing money in the house. Calculate that. That's the first thing to do. Number two. Calculate debt and expenses. How much money you spent, like go from the top. If you in an apartment or you got your house, whatever, how much is your rent? How much is your mortgage? How much is lights? Average. Look at your bills. Average. How much is water? How much is internet, cable, uh, phone, telephone? A lot of us don't really have phone. The only reason why we have a phone is because it came in a bundle with Cox. But anyway, what else? Gas, groceries, clothes, you know, what you spend your money on per month. What you spending your money on. Add all that up. Okay? You understand? You hear me saying? You understand? You got it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not hearing you. You got it? All right. Okay, you can pause this. Okay. Get all that together. Get your debt and your expenses. Debt also. How, how many credit cards? Mm. Don't don't be ashamed. Don't be looking down. Don't be shaking your head. How many credit cards you got? Mm. How much debt? Mm. How much that monthly payment? I forgot about credit cards because my husband and I don't have credit card debt. <laughs> I don't mean to uh, sound sedity or snooty, but we don't have any credit card debt. Okay. I had credit card debt years ago that we paid off for a dentist bill that was so long ago. What else? Like we had like our student loans, all that has been forgiven and paid off. What else? Like we never did that whole credit card foolery. No, I have my credit card with my, um, with my, um, credit union that stays at this <coughs> zero. <laughs> every now and then if I want to just kind of earn some points or something I'll swipe the credit card for like a vacation or trip and then just pay it all you know whatever so get that down place expenses in order by what is most important food housing light water car gas insurance cell phone etc okay that's the second thing you need to do okay Okay, okay. I'm going to go and give y'all all this. And me and hubby will come up with some more. I might do about two more videos of this, maybe. We'll see. I need to get hubby to come on because he can give y'all a little more in-depth. The next video, I'll have him come on, go over this, what I told y'all already. And he'll insert his little tips and hints for y'all. The third thing you need to do is assign a value from your income to each expense. So, say... This your check, how much money you bring in, how much you going to need to pay towards, how much, you know, goes to the lights, how much goes to the mortgage, how much goes to gas, so on, so on, and, and debit that out and see how much of all your expenses and your debt, how much is that eaten out of your check monthly, okay? You need to do that. Now, if you still have money left over, then you can start paying off some debt. If you, if not either, okay, they say if you don't have any money left over, you either need to get your income up or you need to make some cuts. Point blank, period. Couldn't dry. If what you have coming in and your debts and expenses eat all that up, it's time to let something go. Netflix need to go. Uh, your little shoe uh, online, uh, what's the thing? What's the thing called when you, because um, I had the little deal box, like the clothes box, any type of subscriptions you have, extra stuff, it's time to let that go. You got to see what you got to cut. You got to be able to have some money left over so you can start using that leftover money to start paying off your debt and things like if you have credit card debt and things like that. Okay, note to self, dolls and or accessories are not a valid expense. 
I wrote that all in caps. Not a valid expense. <laughs> so this is geared towards my dolly folks out there. So if you're going to do the budgeting thing, baby, the doll stuff has got to come to a halt. If you are in need. If your finances are fine and everything, you don't need to be listening to me. But if you know your finances are jacked up, you need to be listening to this and get yourself right. So when you get old and gray, you're not still out there at Walmart or whatever trying to earn a check. Okay? When you get old, I want you laying back, chilling, enjoying your retirement and been to save some money up for yourself. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I want everyone to have a just, you know, less, like say, owing money and, and, and financial instability, financial instability to me, that's, that's too much stress. I can't live my life like that. I can't live my life owing people money, credit card debt. No, no. I never. I guess because I'm my mama's child. Like, say, my mama always took care of her business. She paid her bills. She ain't pay no, play no games. If she had extra money, you know, she'd go have fun and whatnot. Same with my husband. We go and have fun. We have extra money. We've done a lot of the hard work already. The hardest and, the, like, the last hurdle is us paying this house off. It's the last hurdle, you know, and it gets hard. But you have to sacrifice, and you have to understand what's more important. Like, house come before these dolls, I'm pretty sure most of y'all understand that. Like I say, this is more of like a for fun video out there. If I, anybody want a little chuckle and whatnot. But if you really did need to hear this, listen up. All right. And I say this is enough to get you started. You can do this. I have some star points down here. Be strong. Resist the temptation, y'all. I know, oh, Bonnie Brown got this new kid. Oh, I know Laura Lee Eagle got this. Ooh, ooh, so cute. Ooh, baby. No. Stop. Stop looking at it. Don't look on eBay. Don't look nowhere. Close your eyes. Y'all do like me. Close your eyes. Can you see? No, you can't see? Okay. Close, close, keep them closed now. All right. No no Facebook. No Instagram. <laughs> well, you just got to learn to, to resist because I know I can't live without Facebook and Instagram. I'm always scrolling. Looking, being nosy, seeing what other folks doing and whatnot. And it, it is hard, y'all. I'm not here preaching and just trying to tear y'all down. It's hard. It's a whole lot of doggone babies I want. Even though I got a nursery full, you know, I was able to rebuild my collection and whatnot. But there's plenty of doggone babies I want. Shoot. I might want your baby. I can't have your baby, though, because it's yours. <laughs> Unless you want to sell it, but not right now because... Yeah, I got to be good. Aniko was already me being bad and would not dipping my toe in something I don't need to. But I felt she was a good investment because her price was really good and I would have had to pay double for her down the line. So I was like, we'll go ahead and get her now to save down the line. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel. But anyway, so and I say, if you are a compulsive shopper, avoid triggers. Don't look on eBay. Stay out of the baby section, etc. Take this time to discover yourself. Make improvements in health and mental needs. And that's all I have to start you off with budgeting one-on-one. -on -one. And I hopefully will be back this weekend with Hubby. And he'll give us some more tips and we'll start on to budgeting one one on one video two. Once you get those like that's what you need to get started with. You know, this isn't going to just end right here. You know, I'll come back at some point, maybe not in the next week or month or whatnot. But I'll come back and check on you guys, see how you guys are doing. You know, I'm going to have my email at, at, at the in the description bar if you guys want to reach out to me and. Uh, if you have any additional questions or anything like that uh, to get yourself started with your budgeting. If you do want to try to do better uh, with your finances and have money saved up. So if something comes up, you can take the money out of the savings and you don't have to sell your beautiful babies. But like I said, some of y'all sneak it. Some of y'all be lying. Some of y'all be saying that just to sell the dog, but just you have the money. But you just don't want this dog and they don't have nothing to do with it. For the people that's not lying that's out there and really do need money at the drop of a hat and you have to sell dogs because you haven't 
done what you need to do and save up your coins and you spending all your coins, it's time for you to grow up. I'm not going to apologize for it. Sorry, not sorry. Time for you to grow up, be an adult, take care of your business. Okay. So I think that's about it. Um, if I ruffled any feathers, comment down below. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny to me anyway. But yeah, that's all I have. If you have any additional questions, you can email me. And also you can message me right here on the YouTubes. There is like this little um, chat thing. There is a little thingy. I know a lot of y'all don't see it or use it, but it is it's like a little text message type of little thing where you can request. Like I think some people just don't have it set up, but like I said, I put my little thing out there. I stopped putting it out there um, because people will accept it, but Nobody ever messages me or anything. So I feel like, what's the point? I just leave the email. So I just put the email in there. And if you are already connected to me on YouTube, you can message me through there with any additional questions or criticisms or anything you want to talk about. Get off your chest, whatever. Um, but I think that's it. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video, Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you really, really like this video, go ahead and click the notification bell so you will be notified each and every time, hopefully, that I upload a video, which is not that very often once I get back to work. So I have been enjoying coming and chatting with you guys and all that good stuff over the summer. I got a week and a half left. So I'll probably be doing a couple more videos. I am done for today with my videos. I have two videos that are going up today. And I plan on getting my yarn out and crocheting me and my hubby some matching winter beanie hats. Yay! <laughs> yeah, he wants his to be black and purple and mine is going to be like a lavender, light purple, and pink. They're not matching these going to be the same pattern. But yeah. So, Orly says, what's up? What's up, my people? What's up? Oh, what's up? What's up, my people? She say, I'm going to see you later. See you later. See you later. Aunties and uncles, I love you. And thank you so much for watching my mommy's video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Say, boobs and kisses. Mwah. All right. So, kisses from me. Mwah. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Toodles.